Hey folks! You might have noticed that traditional methods of creating flowcharts and mind maps can be time-consuming and often require specialized software. This can be a hurdle for those who need quick and accurate visual aids for their projects. To solve this, in today's video we will explore two innovative methods powered by ChatGPT. First, we demonstrate how to generate flowcharts through simple text prompts showcasing how AI can convert your ideas into visual representations in no time. Next, we will dive into creating mind maps, illustrating how ChatGPT can assist in crafting detailed and intricate diagrams with ease. Without further ado, let's dive into exploring the process. This is Pervez Durrani and you are watching Guru Tech Solutions. First, let's learn to create stunning flowcharts. Before we begin, I would urge to watch till last, so you would not miss any essential part. First of all, open your web browser. You have ChatGPT before you. We have already decided our topic around which we want to create flowchart. As we are interested to create flowchart around discussing the steps to carry out an academic research, let me paste my copied prompt over here. You can see we have asked ChatGPT to provide us the steps for academic research. Besides, we have asked to write steps for each research methods. As we know, there are three different research methods. These include quantitative research, followed by qualitative and mixed method research. Once you are done with this typing, hit enter and wait for the process to be completed. Here you can see ChatGPT has created a comprehensive list of steps to carry out academic research. So this begins with general steps in academic research. You can see there are different steps that start from identifying the research topics and ends in reflecting and revising. Further, as per instruction, it has written steps for each research method. Here you can see it started from qualitative research methods, followed by quantitative research, and then it has listed down the steps for mixed methods study. Now we want to create a flowchart for these following steps. In order to do so, again in the prompt bar, we will instruct ChatGPT to create the flowchart that illustrates steps for carrying out academic research. Besides, we have explicitly mentioned to incorporate the above steps that has been created by ChatGPT. Further, we have instructed to ensure that related steps are placed side by side. These prompts will be provided in the description below, so you can create your own prompt using these samples. Once done with typing, hit enter and this free AI will create a flowchart for us. Here you can see the flowchart. However, we are not done yet. In order to have a perfect flowchart, we will be converting this flowchart into mermaid code. Later, these codes will be pasted in separate free AI to create stunning flowcharts. Let's ask ChatGPT to provide us the mermaid code for this flowchart. Here is AI-generated mermaid code. Let us copy this mermaid code from here. Now, here comes the next step. Let's open a new tab and this time type draw IO. From here, let's hit the very first provided link. This will take us to the official page of this completely free AI tool. Draw IO actually generates stunning flowcharts. So let us open a new separate file and let us set the name as academic research and then hit create. So here is the workspace where we will be creating our flowchart as we have already created mermaid code and this is the time to use those codes. In order to use those mermaid codes, let's hit insert, and from here let's click advance, and then we will click mermaid. So this is the space where we will paste our code. First let's delete the existing code. Now let's press Ctrl plus V to paste the code over here. Then hit create and we are good to go. Boom! Here is the flowchart. However, it is not the final look. Draw.io has created a comprehensive flowchart for us. Now you can play around and make changes as per the need. A detailed flowchart and the connections between each step can be seen. This is the time to play around and make some changes to make it more appealing. First, let us make changes in the text by clicking here. You have got numerous options to play around. We can change the font size and let's make the font bold this time. And we have got many more options. So in this way you can make changes as per your needs and requirements. Now let's click style and make changes in colors. Here we have got numerous color options. Let me apply these colors to some of the options. And this, the final look of the flowchart after choosing various colors. Likewise, we can make other changes. So here in general, you will be able to see different shapes. In order to make these shapes part of our flowchart, we just need to drag and drop the shapes. 
Under the General button, you will be able to see numerous shapes. Just under this, we have got MISC. Here you can see numerous other resources that can be included in the flowchart. This time, let us insert a table in our flowchart. We can do it in a single click of a button. Further options can be seen over here. Next, the important thing is an option to replace the arrows. Here, we have got different options. Let us check out arrow style, and it can be adjusted in a single click of a button. So in this way, you can make changes to the flowchart manually to make it more appealing. Once you are done with all these changes, it's time to download the AI-generated flowchart. In order to do so, let's click File. And from here, let's hit Export. And here we have an option to download the flowchart in numerous formats. You can choose your desired format as per the requirement. In our case, we would prefer to download the flowchart in JPEG. Once you click, you have this option. You can choose these options as per the requirement. Once done, hit Export, and it will be downloaded into your system. So, let us open it from the system. Here is the downloaded version of AI-generated flowchart. You can see, this is the stunning flowchart, which we have created using ChatGPT and Draw.io completely free. Now you can manipulate the prompts which we have used, and you can create your own appealing flowcharts like this in a single click of a button. Now let's learn to create stunning mind maps using ChatGPT completely free. First of all, open your web browser and then open ChatGPT. Now we have to decide our topic around which we want to create mind maps. In our case, we are interested to create mind maps around steps that requires to carry out a meta-analysis. We have already copied the prompt. Therefore, let's press Ctrl plus V to paste the prompt over here. As you can see, we have asked ChatGPT to create mind map around steps for metal analysis. Besides this, we have asked it to include the relevant subtopics. Moreover, we have asked to include information about the tools that will be needed to carry out meta-analysis. Lastly, we have asked to highlight different methodologies as well. Here comes the essential step in the prompt. We have asked ChatGPT to provide a code box with markdown language. This is the most important point to mention in the prompt to get markdown codes. These codes will be used in later steps to generate stunning flowcharts. These particular prompts will be provided in the video description below. Once done with pasting the prompt, now it's time to hit enter. You can see ChatGPT has begun its process to generate markdown codes, basically a mind map outline for meta-analysis. You can see a comprehensive steps in the markdown codes. However, it does not make sense now. Once the mind map is created, we can have a clear picture of it. Now it's time to export these markdown codes into our system. But the chat GPT doesn't allow to do download this code as separate file. So let's copy this code. And here comes the next step. Now we will use another completely free platform called Dillinger IO. This will help us to export markdown code into our system. Here is the official page of it. Let's create new document from here. We will change the file name as Meta Analysis Mind Map. Then the next step is to delete the entire existing code. So let's select all these and press backspace and it's gone. Now it is time to paste the copied markdown code over here. For that, let's press Ctrl plus V. Here you can see the markdown code generated by ChatGPT. Now it's time to export these codes as separate file. For that, let's click here and we have numerous format options, but we will choose Markdown. Then it will be downloaded into our system. Here you can see it's downloaded. This downloaded file will be used in next steps, so stay tuned till last. Here comes the final step. Now, in order to have a mind map of these Markdown codes, we need to download an app. For that, let's search for XMind app and click the very first provided link. This will take us to the official page of XMind app. Now it's time to download this app. So, let's click here and it will start downloading. You can see the file size is 158 MB. This will take a few minutes to download. The link to download the XMind app will be provided in the description below. Once it's downloaded, you have to install it into your system. Then we will have this icon on our desktop. Let's open it. Once open, you can see it's the home page of XMind app software. Here we can see various options. Basically, XMind map can be used for various purposes. These include mind maps, logic charts, brace maps, and many more. So, we are interested in creating mind maps. Let's hit, and here we have got the place where we will be creating our mind maps. Now, here comes the time to import the downloaded markdown codes. For that, 
Let's click here and go to File. Then, there is an option to import. Now here we can see there are different options, but we will choose Markdown. This will ask us to upload the file. So here is the Markdown code created by ChatGPT, which was later exported into our system using Dillinger I.O. Let us choose it from here. This app will process the code and here we go. A comprehensive mind map around meta-analysis steps. You can see it has nine different steps and the connections between each step can be seen explicitly. So this detailed mind map discusses each step for meta-analysis. It starts from defining a research question followed by literature research, study selection, data extraction, and many more. It ends with discussing the last step that is report writing. It means we have to follow these steps to carry out any meta-analysis. Here comes the final step to download this mind map into our system. In order to do so, let's hit here. Then choose Export, and here we have different options to download it into our system. You can choose as per your need. We will go with JPEG, then hit Export and it will begin its process, and here we have our downloaded comprehensive mind map. You can see the quality of this mind map. This is really stunning and it can be created completely free by following the steps mentioned in the video. I hope you liked the content, if so kindly let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Besides, don't forget to subscribe Guru Tech Solutions for more AI-related content. See you in next video. Bye.